Okay. Yes, this is the place. I'll see if anybody's about. Anybody in? No, it's locked. Perhaps they've gone on a shout. Don't be silly. They don't have to shout. They've got radios. Of course they have. Have you tried the bell? Not yet. I'll do it. Oh, oh. I was going to stop it. Find a stick. No. No. Hello. Hello. Did you ring that bell? Please say it's a false alarm. We did. I'm leading firefighter Paul, and this is first bucket tosser Barry reporting for duty. We've got to report to the station officer. He's not here. He's off with a bad back. He's left me in charge. I'm all by myself, and I don't like it. Not to worry. You're not by yourself anymore. We're here. And he's not to worry. I'm really glad to see you two. Oh, yeah, I am. All this is too much for me. Too much responsibility. Oh, you can never have too much responsibility. People are always saying we're responsible, aren't they, Barry? Unfortunately. How did you manage to get yourself posted here? Oh, we weren't posted. We made our own way. It doesn't mean posted, posted. It means posted, don't you? Do I? Yes. It just so happens that a very good friend of ours is a friend of the fire chief. And he heard you were two men short of a watch. No, he didn't. He said he needed two reliable firemen. And he couldn't find any, so he sent us. That's right. You never know. If your boss likes us, he might take us on permanently. Oh, dear. I wouldn't hold your breath. He doesn't like anybody. He's sacked all the others, and he's told me that if I don't improve, I'll have to go too. Go where? Just go. He doesn't like me either. He says I'm timid. <laughs> Easily led, and I can't make a decision. But I can, can't I? Oh, yes. In fact, the only things he's got any time for is his pet Russian roof rabbit and an old frog called Derek. I'd advise you to keep as far away from him as possible. Oh, the rabbit or the frog? No, the chief. He likes everything to go like clockwork. He doesn't stand for any slacking, and he's a stickler for physical fitness. Oh, well, we've no problems there. But he's very fit, aren't you? He once represented Yorkshire in the All England Tiddlywink Championships. Did he? Did you win? Unfortunately not. I tiddled when I should have winked. I see. It could happen to anyone. Oh, no. That'll be the chief again. That's the third time today. You'll find some uniforms upstairs. Go and change. I'll see what he wants. Go on, Barry. This is it. We're on duty. Good, isn't it? If only great, great, great Uncle Honesty Chuckle could see us now. Which one was he? Remember your history, Barry. He's the one who discovered the Great Fire of London and so invented the fire brigade. I thought he was a baker. No, he was definitely a chuckle. The bakers live next door. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. the chief. He wants us to go round to his house straight away. His rabbit's stuck in a tree. Vicious little swine. What, the chief? No, the rabbit. What's his name? Ramsbottom. Funny name for a tree. Not the tree, the roof rabbit. We'd better pop over and rescue it. The tree? No, the rabbit. Well, what about the tree? Ignore the tree. How can you ignore the tree when there's a rabbit stuck up it? We haven't got time to worry about it now. We'd better get over there. Great. Now's our chance to impress Barry. And yours. Is it. Now, a bit of advice. If you want to stay on here as fireman, you'd better get on his good side. Which is his good side? Dunno. We'll take a side each. Quickly, round the back. Oh, let's have a look. Get off me, you idiot! Me rabbit's round the back. What are these two doing here? They're the replacements, Chief. Are they now? Well, replacements can be replaced. So move yourselves. Now, what are you doing? He said to get on your good side. Did he now? Well, I've got news for you. I haven't got one. 
Now shift yourselves. Don't worry, Ramsbottom. We'll soon have you down. He'll come down when he's hungry. We had a sparrow that did that. He's a Russian roof rabbit, not a bird. Right. You've got a job to do. You, get a ladder. You, fetch a blanket. And you, get a rope. And no slacking. Hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to. Hey, he's not very friendly, is he? I told you so. He doesn't like anyone. Not at the moment, but he will when we've impressed him with the speed of our rescue. Come on, grab the stuff quick and let's get back. Right. To you. To me. To me. Right, here it is. Hop to, 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 Fine, thanks. See, he's getting friendly already, Barry. I mean, well, get on with it. Oh, right. Ooh, looks a bit high to me, Barry. After you. Looks a bit high for me as well. What's the matter with you? Well, you see, none of our family have got a very good head for heights. We only have to take one foot off the ground and we start to feel dizzy. That's why we have trouble walking. Call yourself fireman? I've never heard such rubbish. Here. Tie this safety rope around your waist. Now, if he falls, you'll be able to stop him. Good idea. Now, get up that ladder and come down quickly. I won't come down too quickly, if you don't mind. I can't reach. You'll have to go higher. Pardon? Higher. Higher. You're right, Paul. He's getting friendlier. I'll give you friendlier. Look. You'll have to go up there and get that rabbit down. Me? Oh, dear. Do you want the rope? I'm not sure. No, I won't bother, but I think we'd better have the safety blanket, just in case. To you. To me. To you, then. To me. There. Hey, be careful. Steady. Good man, that, you know. Got nerves of steel. Great sense of balance. Oh! oh, oh. Butterfingers. Are you all right? I think so, but I'm afraid Ramsbottom's gone further up the tree. We need a longer ladder. Hey. Good idea. I've had a good idea. Why don't we throw a rope over the branch, pull it down, and then we can lift him up? I don't know. It might work. Well, give it a try. <laughs> Be careful. My grandfather planted that tree. He must have had a big spade. It's coming. Keep pulling. That's it. Now grab it. Where'd it go? I don't know, but you better find it quick. There it is, on the roof. <laughs> well, where else would you expect to see a roof rabbit? Oh, no. Once he gets settled up there, we'll never get him down. Get a ladder, quick. I'll get it. <laughs> Good man, that Ramsgate. Very efficient. Is he now? Got it. Well, don't just stand there. Get it up. That's right. Don't just stand there. <laughs> Who's going up? Allow me. Uh, watch your nose. He gets a little nasty when he's on the roof. To hold this ladder for you, Barry. Me? Yes. Well, you get on well with roof rabbits, don't you? I've never met one. Well, that explains it, then. Besides, you've got more nose to lose than I have. And off you go. Me and Ramsgate will hold the blanket for you. You'd better use this. Oh, thanks, Ramsgate. To you. Can you see it? Aha! Got it! <laughs> oh! ah! Too late! Get off me, you moron! <laughs> I'm sorry, but at least I found your rabbit. Where is it? It's up there. <laughs> Quick, get the ladder. <laughs> Right, up you go. Me again? Well, it's your helmet, isn't it? It's not my helmet. No arguing. Up you get. Have you got him? Not exactly, but I know where he is. Where? He's in the downspout. In the downspout? Oh, no. 
He loves downspouts. We'll never get him out of there. Uh, don't worry. Ramsgate's got a good idea. Have I? Yes, of course you have. This is your big chance to impress him. Right. Uh, right that's right. I've had an idea. Well, what is it? Uh, I'll let leading firefighter Chuckle explain. What? Um, oh, yes. Um, it seems that you've got two choices. One, you can tempt him out of there with something he likes to eat best. Or two, you can push him out with the drain rods. What does he like to eat best? Noses. Drain rods it is then. Are you sure this will work? Am I sure this will work? Tell him, Barry. Don't ask me. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Trust me, by the time we finish this, the chief will think you're the best thing since unsliced bread. Oh, here we are. Come on. Hop to. Why not? Hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to. Put the end in the pipe and get ready to push. Right. <laughs> He'll be out in a minute. One of you will. Right. You ready? Ready. Right. To you. To me. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I've told you before. On a job like this, you got to you. To me. To you. To me. It's got to be to you. To you. And further up the pipe. Got you. Right. Ready. To you. To you. And further up the pipe. To you. To you. And further up the pipe. <laughs> You'll have to pull it out and start again. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. We can't leave that thing there, can we? No, you can't. I tell you what, we'll climb up there and cut it off. <laughs> Nobody'll know it's there. I will. Except you. And me. Whose side are you on? Look, get that out of there. Oh, oh me back. Oh, I'll have to go and have a sit down. Get that lot sorted out, or I'll sort you out. Are you sure about this, Paul? We're trying to make our friend here look good, aren't we? Now just get on with it and stop moaning. Suit yourself. Blazers, you think you're doing? The blazers, ha <laughs> ha! That's a good one, blazers. You being a fireman and all, which is more than you lot will be if you don't stop messing about. Now get those rods out of my drain pipe and find my roof rabbit. Don't worry, we'll soon have that fixed for you. Why don't you go and have a nice sit down? Sit down? I'll be flat on me back for a fortnight at this rate. <laughs> oh dear, he doesn't seem very happy, does he? Well, he's missing his furry little friend. As soon as he gets it back, he'll be a different person. I hope so, or I'll be out. Trust me, you'll have a job for life. Now, I need a bucket. He never gives up, does he? Sadly, no. Fetch the ladder. Fill that bucket, will you, Barry? Oh, yes. Russian roof rabbits are famous for not liking water, you know. So all we've got to do is to pour the water down the spout and chase the roof rabbit out. I've got it. What do you want it for? He's going to flush the rabbit. I've heard of flushing toilets, but never rabbits. I'll do the honours. You can get ready to catch the rabbit. You stand in the ladder. Right. Do I have to do this? Only I'm not very good at studying things. <laughs> OK, then. You catch the rabbit and you study the ladder. Steady, steady, steady. Tight. I think we need a lubricant. Barry, pop in the house and see if you can get some butter. He might prefer margarine. Just get it wherever you can. Oh. Ramsgate, get hold of him. Right, pull. No, to me. Right, to me. Right, to me. Right. Oh, forget it. I could only find jam. What flavour? Strawberry. That'll do. Slap some on his head. 
Is he? That's right. Well, he won't be for much longer. Get the hoses connected up. Are you going to flush him out? Flush him out? After all the trouble he's caused today, I'm going to blast him out. How exactly does this work? Well, the water comes up that pipe from the pond into the engine and is forced out through this hose under pressure. Extreme pressure. I know all about that. You'd better put your helmet on. All right. Turn it on. Paul, I've got something. Not now, Barry. Turn it on again. Turn it on again. But, Paul, can I Not tell you... Not now, Barry. There must be a blockage in the pond. I tell you something. Not now, Barry. We're working, aren't we? Oh, I see what it is. Hold that. Ah! Oh, are you all right? All right. I've been smeared with jam, crushed by a falling fireman, stuck in a bucket, and tripped into a pond. Do I look all right? It'll brush off. Get off. You're all fired. What about your roof, Rabbit? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I found him. He's under my helmet. Oh, forget it. Get out of my sight. Fancy Ramsbottom being in my hat all the time. Fancy. But we still got sacked, though. Don't worry about it. He'll calm down as soon as you try it off a bit. At least you showed him what you're capable of. And you showed me what you're capable of, too. Look on the bright side. We saved his rabbit. And his pet frog. I'll give you a look on the bright side. You two have made my life a misery ever since you got here. If you do anything else, I won't be responsible for my actions. We only tried to help. Right. You asked for it. Run for the poles, buddy. Exactly how I'd have handled it. You've got a job for life. 